So a very good morning. It's coming around to 17 minutes to nine. Let's have a dig around the news to find one or two stories you might not have heard about. So, Ashan, would you like to start us off this morning? I certainly can do. And of course, as we get towards New Year, that tends to mean new music. A lot of new artists tend to come to the fore. And um, one of the ones you always have to keep your eye on is the Brits Rising Star Previous winners, um, Adele, Rag and Bone Man, lots of people who've gone on to have really successful careers. And they've announced this year's winner already, which is soul singer Celeste. Oh, Have you heard of Celeste? Really? I've heard of Celeste, but as I've said before, the irony in working in radio is that my music knowledge is terrible. <laughs> um, so well, I know of her, but not her music. Really. In fairness, I obviously work more on the music side than you do, and I'm not overly versed with Celeste either. I think we do have one of her songs sort of kicking around here. The name is sort of vaguely familiar, but I'm not too sure about her music. But clearly, he's somebody who's sent for big things. Uh, yep, so she was. Um, she's had support from BBC's Music Introducing site after she put one of her songs on there. And um, her debut album, The Milk and Honey, has been produced by Lily Allen's record label. Oh, that's a uh, sort of good advocation, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what do you think of Celeste's music? Are you a bit of a fan? Have you heard some of her tunes? Let us know. Um, the Brits, do they know who's going to be presenting the, uh, the Brit Awards this uh, coming year? I want to say it has been announced, but I can't remember who it is. When are the Brit Awards? Usually February. Ish. Yeah, it's towards the end kind of, of like Oscar February. season time yeah. as well. That's it. It's when generally loads of the big awards ceremonies take place. So we'll uh, keep an eye out for that. You've not had the call yet to uh, present it, Rianne. Uh, I've had so many calls, but I just don't, I can't squeeze it in. Ben. Hang on, there's a London number <laughs> flashing up on the screen. <laughs> it could be them. Uh, let's stay with music because I've got a story about YouTube, similar to the one I had yesterday. Uh, the most watched music videos of 2019 in the UK have been revealed by YouTube and... Uh, <laughs> Let's see what you make of this one, because I'm a little bit adrift again, it has to be said. Uh, Stormzy's infectious single, Vossy Pop, was the most watched video yeah. of the last year. Are you familiar with I this? I am familiar with Stormzy. What's it like? I, I'm not. Sorry, I, again. I think you'd not quite like it. I think we'll oh, put really? it on in the newsroom in a okay. bit and we'll have a, we'll have a bomb. We'll have a party. Yeah. Oh, no, we'll have a watch. Yeah. Now, I've heard, <laughs> heard of Stormzy, definitely. What was he? What did he do this year? There was something. Glastonbury. That's it. <laughs> just, just that little, uh, little gig there. Yes, that's it. That, 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 that's, Easily forgettable. That's mm. tiny little event. <laughs> I was thinking, he's done something big this year, so big that I just couldn't remember at all. But yeah, he's there, the most watched video, um, based around a viral dance craze. It was uh, on Westminster Bridge, I believe, and uh, Idris Elba was in it as well. He has vocal. friends in high places to storm yeah, He certainly does, doesn't he? Heard of this one, here we go, Sam Smith, uh, Dancing with a Stranger. We played that on Manx Radio. I know that song at last we all <laughs> yeah. uh, That was in second place. And uh, Billie Eilish as well, who I'm familiar-ish with, Billie Eilish. Uh, bad guy uh, came third. That's how you pronounce it, isn't it? It's not it not, is, not Eilish like the Manx. Name. I have definitely said Eilish and been told it's Eilish. <laughs> there you go. Did so I, I say that the right way? Yeah. I, th I think so. No, I think we're on, I, I, I'm so in doubt now. We, we're on the right it's track. Eilish. Here. Yeah. yeah, Eilish. So let's uh, stick yeah, with quite, that. It's quite a bizarre video, that one. If you've not seen it, have a look. It is a bit weird. Outside the UK, Latin music dominated, accounting for all of YouTube's top five music videos. I wonder what the most watched is here on the Isle of Man. I mean, at the moment, I'm watching old episodes of Dame Edna so that's, <laughs> that's kind of about sums it up I think and uh, finally you Rianne have a little seasonal offering for yes, us yes another seasonal offering uh, offering sorry today is officially the last day that you can break up with your partner before the holidays before it's deemed too harsh all oh, right <laughs> so you know some of you might need to put that on your agenda today um, but yeah apparently um, it's it's just too too difficult to break up with someone after this point and if you don't do it today you have to wait until the 12th of january all oh, right oh wow so that's probably around probably around the time of miserable monday or blue monday or whatever yeah it's just cool. wait till the most the depressing woods. season of the year <laughs> <laughs> like, i mean again it's riddled with complexities isn't it like you can't break up with somebody near their birthday and well, i guess christmas it, is the same it goes i remember someone saying this so it's like you can't break up with them at christmas but then it's valentine's day so you can't break up with them oh. for valentine's day and then it could be their birthday and then it's like 30 years down the line. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, you intended to do that and there you are. Oh, we could go so far on this and say so much, couldn't we? But uh, so, so by midnight tonight, basically. By midnight, you have until midnight tonight to... Mm. It's like Break transfer some deadline day. But more, more, <laughs> more heartbreaking. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like the opposite of Scylla in blind dating. <laughs> yeah. This is just like a complete contrast, isn't it? All right. Uh, also this morning, uh, Samantha Barks, it's been announced that she is going to play 
Elsa in the West End version of Frozen. The musical is coming to London uh, next year. Great news for Sam, isn't it? This big is a deal. huge, big, huge big news deal. for the Isle of Man yeah. as well. Absolutely huge. Great for Sam, great for us. She started, as we said earlier, at our very own Gaiety Theatre. So uh, that show opens uh, next year. Tickets go on sale in the new year. So talking about Frozen then... <laughs> We had to do it, didn't Read we? Read not to. <laughs> this is it. Here's from the movie of Frozen, Adina Menzel. 